What is up designers, this is Nikos from Ninja Graphics and welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create a black and white design from an image, sort of a portrait, and in other words, how to turn this image into this image. So to get started, create a new file in your Photoshop and then create any size you want, but I'm going to go with a square design. So I'm gonna create 2400 by 2400. Uh, that's gonna give me a square. And the next thing you wanna do is you wanna copy the color that we have. So basically, uh, as you can see, we have two colors, um, kind of uh, dark yellow, orangish, uh, and black. And uh, that's all you need to know. The rest is just pen tooling. So let's see, color is this code. So hex code is FAA516 press OK, and then press Alt, Backspace, Alt or Option, Backspace, and then this is going to paint all your layer into this color. Now the next thing we wanna do is you have to choose an image that you want to work with. So either it's you know your photograph or some some other model photograph, you can use anything for this, and then simply adjust the, the photograph inside your file. Um, press enter and then uh, you can begin working on it. Before we begin working on it, we're going to create another layer, call it black, and this is what we're going to use for putting the black color on top of it. All right, so the photograph is kind of our uh, canvas and then we are simply going to paint any any colors that are dark into black. And that's how we are going to achieve the, the end result that we're going to see. So uh, I'm just gonna show you um, real quick how, how I use the pen tool. I mean, pen, pen tool is, uh, is a pretty simple tool, but it can get, um, can get, you can use it much better if you're used to it. So the more time you, time, the more time you spend using it, the better you're gonna become. Uh, so just take your time and just use the pen tool as much as you can so you get used to like all the tricks that you can do. Um, so and, and, and in the end you will get a really smooth end result. Now the trick with the I'm not, obviously not gonna do the whole thing in this video because this is going to be a short video. Um, but th just a little tip, the less dots you create with pen tool, the better your design will be. So try not to create too many dots. Try not to go like, you know, like this because that's going to make your design really jagged, so to speak. So the less is better. Now I'm just going to continue doing this by myself and I'll get back to you in a few seconds. Now once you create a selection and then once you get back to the point that you started off, you simply need to press Control or Command Enter and this will select uh, everything that you pen tooled. So it will create a selection. Now all you need to do is simply fill up this color, this uh, selection with black color. So you can either go over it with a pen tool, oh sorry, brush tool, or a quicker way is to simply press Alt or Option and Backspace, and it will fill up your selection. And now just to give you a brief idea, we have created the jacket that he was wearing in black, and this is pretty much the the steps that you need to take. So do them one at a time. And you know, next we can go over the beard. So to start off, just gonna do it really quickly. All right, so we selected the beard and hair and I'm gonna press Alt and Backspace and we will create the facial hair basically. And we're Oh, pretty much halfway th through, or maybe more. All we need to do is add the eyebrows, the eye, nostrils, and uh, the dark uh, spots in the ear, and we're pretty much done. A 
so this is it uh, all the dark sides are covered and we have uh, finished our design you can put lips if you want you can put more detail on the ear if you want but mainly you get the idea it's all up to you how much detail you add and uh, subtract so uh, this is it for the tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you learned something today and I will see you guys in the next video